You just need to get your first and last name. Say and spell it. Hey. Heather Moss, H-E-A-T-H-E-R-M-O-S-S. And your position here at the school? I'm the job counselor at Grand County High School, and I also work out of Miss Wright Wilson Room, which is a special education class, and kind of work kind of like as an aide while I'm in here. So. Um, so tell me about the first time you met Dakota. Oh, the first time I met Dakota. Dakota loves to tease and aggravate, and um, he just come in, and he was a very happy-go-lucky person, and um, he loved the kids in this class, and whenever he would come in, I remember he just cut up with them. I mean, would literally get them on the floor and get them rolling around and laughing and um, kind of disrupt classes at times, but it made the kids, I mean, they loved him. He was a great leader and actually a really great role model for them, which uh, the stories I'd heard about him, I was very surprised at that because I thought, oh my goodness, Miss Ratliff, what have you done <laughs> to let him in here? But um, he turned out to be a great role model, um, not just for the autistic child, but for all the children in this classroom. I think he gave them a sense of confidence that they didn't have before because they weren't with the other children, the regular students, mm -hmm. as much. So when he was in here with them, I think it gave them that confidence that, you know, they could do and be whatever they wanted to be. Um, Dakota became a Marine when he graduated from school here. Um, did you talk to him about it at all before he made that decision? Oh yeah, I thought he was crazy. I was like, what are you doing, you know, because um, that is a major responsibility. I mean, you were there to fight and protect our country. Not that I doubted him in any bit, because I know that whenever he would put his mind to something, he was going to do the best he could be, and you know, he would be the best at it. But I don't I guess part of me really didn't want him to go because I was scared for him. And um, that was four or five years or five years ago. Um, he's accomplished so much since then. You know, what do you think of Dakota now? I am just amazed and very proud. How would you describe Dakota and his personality? <laughs> oh, sorry. Do you need a second? Do you need tissue? I have tissues. I think I have one more. Okay. <laughs> I was just thinking the reason this upsets me. Right after all this had happened, my mother was very sick in the hospital. And he came by the school and I wasn't at work because I was at the hospital and he called me and told me that I could do this. If he could get through what he's been through, that I could do this. But it was just a few months later I ended up losing my mother. You didn't smear your mascara, you still look great. <laughs> <laughs> and I had forgot about that conversation until you asked me that, and I remember him coming by and telling I told him where I was at, and so he called. And how did that make you feel? I was so proud of him, you know. He has done so much with his life, and uh, We tried to encourage him the best we could, but you know, I think they have to have that in their heart, that to, you know, to truly become the person that he has become. And um, he has just grown so much, and um, I think he's had to grow up a lot faster than most of us have. So, I don't know, I'm just very proud of him. Um. What kind of example, and this will be the last question, I promise, <laughs> unless I think of another one. Um, but what kind of example do you think he set for other students here at the school or legacy? I think he set a great example. I mean, he's shown um, that even the, the student that may not be the top student that excels, the student that may not be the perfect student here, still can you know, lead a life that is going to make their family and their schools and their country proud of them. And, you know, just strong leadership skills and willingness to just go the extra mile. I think he set a great example. You know, a lot of the students that don't even know him, that just know that he was here. You know, they are very proud. You know, and honored to just be at the same school that he went to, to know that you know, hey, if that kid can do it, you know, maybe I can too. Is there anything else you want to say about Dakota? I'm just very proud of him. All right. Anybody else? Any other questions? What sort of um. What sort of a, 
reaction because they're among the teaching staff. And when you answer, look at her. Uh, but sort of reaction, what sort of buzz or chatter, you know, is there in the school about him amongst the teachers? I'll have to say amongst the faculty and staff at our school, um, they are all just overwhelmed that, you know, this student that was so rambunctious and, you know, he loved to cut up, not necessarily the trouble that he got into was bad, but Dakota liked attention, you know, and he liked to do what, you know, made others laugh. They are just amazed and I think so surprised, you know, this is Dakota, this is our Dakota, you know, and he's, this is where he's at now and, you know, they're all so proud of him, I, you know, we're all proud of him and that's all I really hear is, you know, wow, that's Dakota, you know, they're just honored to know him and to be a part of his life as well. All right, that's it. Thank you. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay.